Alright, who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, welcome to Mace RC Foam Fighters. This is uh, Charlie's Tip Series number six, right, Charlie? Six. Okay, and we're doing it on 3D printing. Um, a lot has changed over the semester and the, uh, the past year on how we go about printing with the 3D printers. And before I hand it over to my two 3D printing studs, uh, Nas and Jared, we've got, um, we use our MakerBot Replicator 2s, and uh, they've been good, good to us so far. Um, but the process that we go through, we, we use a program called PTC Creo, right? Yep. Yeah. Which is a free download, and the links will be in the um, description down below. And so, Nas, why don't you go ahead and talk, or Jared, go ahead and talk about um, the first step. If, you know, if, if, if one of our students is going to, or any one of our viewers possibly, is going to start this, um, they got the PTC downloaded. What's next? All right. So what we started off with was we needed a, just a base drawing for what would eventually become our quad arm. So Nas did this, and he basically, it's a lot of measuring, a lot of lines, markings. It took us quite a while to get it all done, but once it finally got done, um, it was, we were so happy. And it was actually, that once you get to know it, it gets really easy. Right, and we haven't really had, besides um, Mr. T coming in and training us, there really hasn't been too much training involved with this. I mean, you guys are 8th graders with yeah, some computer background, too. I mean, what do you... Pretty simple. I mean, I mean I didn't uh, even all the functions are just right there, and they were organized pretty well. Sweet. I and mean, most of it was just kind of finding Nothing's really what like happened. Cool. Yeah. I mean, Okay, so you guys got your drawing in 3D, right? So this is the 3D drawing of it. And so what would our students and what would our viewers need to do next after they have it in 3D? Save it to an STL, save it to some sort of file that works. What do we have to do? So um, you'd want to, so every time you save in PTC, it actually, it doesn't just save to whatever you're working on. It actually opens up a new thing, so it's automatically just save as. So what you can do is, you change it to STL, which is compatible with the MakerBot software. Um, and you name it, whatever. And don't forget, up here, you'll notice that there's nothing is selected. You have to click neither select stuff, or you got to click all objects if that's all if that if you want everything saved. Otherwise, it'll just say you must specify one part or assembly. And so you got to click all objects. Perfect. Save, and it's almost instant, which is nice. Yeah, that is nice. So then you have your STL file. So then what? So then you can go to MakerBot. And MakerBot is this is like a free software that we get, or what? What? How does this work? This is something you download off of MakerBot.com, right? I think so. Yeah, so it's it's just a free program, so you guys can um, download the MakerBot um, software free. And we'll put that in the description too. So. You got the STL files somewhere and you just bring them up? How do you bring them up in the library? Um, or in your work file? So if it's uh, saved to your computer, you can just go to, you can just control O or add file. You don't have yeah. <laughs> Cool. And so, so what if we want to print what we just made in STL? And that's cool. So it's just like instant. Just brings it over, right? So there's your quad arm. Oh, there it is. So you still have to kind of move it around to make it work on the bed. Yeah. So you got to turn it. Another thing is here. This lay flat button is really helpful because um, if it's not laying, laying flat, then the MakerBot will uh, just put some filament underneath it, which will waste some some of your 3D printing filament. And it's a pain to clean out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which you guys are starting to get uh, pretty good at now. <laughs> All right, so there it is. So then, then what do you do? You just say export print file. Or Setting, so it's do? export print, print file and um, it'll prepare it first. Nice. 
and it tells you rafts on, supports on, you can take and those off. And you can change the resolution because um, like for say larger things, like maybe if you're just printing a box, then you'd want a lower resolution so as to not waste time because it takes a lot more time to do it in a higher resolution than it does to do it in a lower resolution. So it's nice that you can change the resolution. Can you, what is, um, what's like recommended? What do you guys recommend? Like 0.1 or 0.2 or? Uh, um, 0.2 is default and it's good because, I mean, you don't really uh, work I mean, like, to a point where you'd actually want to have a 0.1 millimeter precision. So, I mean, 0.2 millimeters, it's quicker than 0.1, and also it doesn't really matter as much as it. Cool. And, I mean, it really just depends on what project you're working on. Um, I know for um, when we first started, we printed in just uh, the 0.3, I think, yeah. resolution, because we just wanted to get some concepts down. and. Then we started moving into point two, and finally point one for our final products. Cool. Excellent. So you exported it. It goes to what? What file does it go to? An, an SD card? So or when you drive? click export now, then you can choose what you want to save it to. And what you would want is definitely something that, and the MakerBot takes SD cards, SD cards, and so if you go to computer, it has the SD card here. You can say quadrant, and you can just save it. And then up here, it'll tell you like how far it is, um, on t how close it is to being on the SD card. And then when because it's, it's done, it's done. You can take the SD card out. So after it's done, there'll be like a few more verifying things. Because uh, they want to be 100% sure that there's like no mistake, so it actually just has like, uh, like it kind of like backs it up, almost right. like, yeah. I see what you're saying. Sweet. So we have the SD card. You pop it out, and then what do you do with it, Jared? Um. So this. here's one of our extra cards. So basically, what you want to do is you put it in this little slot here, push it down until it clicks. Then it'll come up with this build from SD menu, you'll go here, and um, this was one of our earlier projects, and then all you have to do is hit the M button, and it'll start printing. Cool. Do you have an uh, example of... We do, actually. Do we know um, where we put it? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are working on a really cool project. Uh, uh, oh, here it is. Sweet. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what we're working on is a quad that we can put together completely just using uh, these clips. No screws, no hardware, no glue, nothing. So this is our arm, and this is what we would have printed out. We already have the uh, prop on here, and we're actually almost ready to go. So we're really excited, because yeah. we've been working on this for a long time, <laughs> yeah. and it's finally coming together. Yeah, but it's it's shown in your guys' work. I mean, this is... This is amazing. I didn't know our, I mean, our printer, I mean, I'm used to our printer printing stuff out that doesn't look that good, but this, you guys have got that printer really performing well. This is amazing. So, um, body coming out soon. Is it, I mean, when can we see this thing done and up in the air? Uh, I would hope within the next maybe two weeks or so. Yeah, we're making finishing touches to the actual body. Cool. Excellent. Well, um, I hope you guys uh, learned a lot from these two guys. Um, like I said, we, we give them a little bit of skills and then they just they go off with it. So they're coming up with a pretty cool product called the Clip Quad and and, um, and we'll see where it goes. But other than that, use this video to help you, uh, help out with uh, yourselves with the um, quad, your baker bots at home or any type of printer you have at home. And uh, as, as for our kids who reference this video, um, all the steps that these guys have uh, put in place for you guys, and uh, good luck and best to be impressive stuff.